Hundreds, sometimes thousands of women serving and bearing children for just one man. These were the wives, consorts, and concubines of the Chinese emperor. These women spent their lives in the imperial quarters deep inside the forbidden city. During the Ming Dynasty, it was mandatory that all young unmarried women go through a selection process to potentially become one of the emperor's ladies. Those chosen had to, firstly, be considered beautiful enough to satisfy the emperor and his parents. Criteria included finely shaped black eyebrows, tiny feet, a fragrant body, and red lips. Secondly, they had to be in perfect health. Thirdly, they had to pass various behavioral and arts training. The final test was to personally serve the emperor's mother, who would even share a bed with them to check for flaws such as snoring or sleepwalking. But even women who survived the rigorous vetting process were not assured of gaining the emperor's favor. Most would spend their lives in bitter loneliness. During the Qing dynasty, Manchu lineage became the most important criteria. Those who managed to bear a male child would be elevated to the rank of imperial consort. The empress was at the top of the pecking order, and tradition dictated she must come from the family of a high-ranking official. While the ranking system remained constant, the number of consorts and concubines varied under different emperors. The Kangxi Emperor, for example, had 79 wives and concubines throughout his life, while the Guangxu Emperor had only three. His most favored one was prone to acts of rebellion. This infuriated Chashi, the Emperor's mother, who eventually had her murdered. Beauty in the Forbidden City could truly be more of a curse than a blessing. Thank you.